Stephen Evening, a group of patients who were given infected blood products from Oxford Haemophilia Centre are demanding that a government inquiry into the scandal is led by the Ministry of Justice, not the Department of Health. Nationally, more than 2,000 people died after they were given contaminated blood products in the 1970s and 80s. Thousands of others were left with serious illnesses like hepatitis C. The NHS says it welcomes an upcoming government inquiry. Here's Angela Walker. And this actually shows the list of the uh, factor eight that I had. John Debman was given blood contaminated with hepatitis C when he had a vasectomy at the Churchill Hospital in Oxford in 1982. The blood product was not produced by the NHS. It was shipped in from the United States and medics at the Churchill were unaware it was tainted. John was one of thousands of haemophiliacs across the country to be given infected blood products in the 70s and 80s. Many have since died. As well as contracting hep C, John was told he could have HIV. That, that's when it all kicked off, really, to get a call like that. Not only you've got hep C, and then to get a call to say that you might have HIV was devastating. John didn't have HIV, but as well as destroying his liver, the hep C almost destroyed his family. He developed cirrhosis and cancer of the liver, and four years ago he had a liver transplant. He suffered mood swings, confusion and depression. It had a devastating effect, yeah. really. I mean, we nearly split up over it. I mean, it was as bad as that. And Sue stuck by me and uh, stuck with it. And we went through some really, really bad times. John's one of 400 haemophiliacs suing the Department of Health in a joint litigation. It's been called a cover-up on, an, on an, an industrial scale. Now, that's emotive language, but the more you, you, you hear about it, the more you read about it, the more you talk to people who have been deeply involved in it, and people whose lives have been ruined, uh, you can't help but come back to that cover-up on an industrial scale. A few days later, the Prime Minister announced a public inquiry. She described it as an appalling tragedy which should simply never have happened. Thousands of patients expected the world-class care our NHS is famous for, she said, but they were failed. John, his family and others like him want to find out who knew the blood could be contaminated. I think it's absolutely disgusting and these people should be bought to book over it, really, um, and it, it locked up and the key thrown away. Angela's live outside the Nuffield Orthopaedic Centre for us tonight. Angela, tell us more about the investigation. Well, the government's coming under pressure this evening not to allow the Department of Health to carry out the inquiry. Campaigners say it should be done by the Ministry of Justice. Well, I'm now joined by one of those campaigners, Neil Weller, who contracted Hep C as a result of this. Neil, what do you want to see from this inquiry? It's not just me, it's all the haemophiliacs. We just want the truth. We've been fobbed off for over 25 years now. I can say there's been a cover-up, I don't know, but we've been pushed around pillar to post and we just, like I say, we've just been fobbed off. And you've had numerous operations at the Nuffield Orthopaedic Centre, where we are right now, and in that time you've met many people who contracted Hep C and HIV because of this. Yeah, like I say, I've been coming here since 1976. I've had probably around 18 operations here, and we grew up as a family, you know, we've all lost friends, we've had parents that have lost children, you have wives that have lost husbands, you've had grandparents lost grandkids, even doctors losing their patients they treated all over the years, nurses that have lost their boys. We've all attended funerals, we've all cried and it's just a travesty that just shouldn't have happened. Well, this evening, the director of the Hospital Trust told us that they will cooperate fully with an inquiry, they welcome the inquiry and they'll support that inquiry and the patients. Angela, thank you.